There's an incident that occurred in Saudi Arabia at a mall which really highlights the absurdity of religion and also the terrible nature of uh, poor cultural practices. So this happened at Barzan Mall in the northwestern city of Ha'il. Uh, the Saudi religious police walked up to a woman who was shopping and they lost their shit. And the reason they lost their shit is because she dared to show her hands. That unrepentant whore. How dare she show a fingernail? Did that make you hard, Mr. Religious Policeman? I'm sure it did. So, uh, here's a little bit of what uh, the police officer said. Quote, walk away, don't say a word, put on some gloves. He also he said it in a very angry tone. In fact, I have some video of it. Not that we can understand it, but I have some video uh, of it that I'll show you in just a second here. But, uh, apparently she wasn't covered up enough. And officials from the Saudi Religious Police are now launching an investigation into the incident. Think about that. Is there nothing more serious than that going on in Saudi Arabia? There's no real crime. You have to worry about a woman showed her hand in public. It's just fucking embarrassing, man. Now, there's also some discrepancy over the reason why the woman was barred from entering the shop. Some local media sources claim that the police officer initially approached the woman after receiving reports that she had been sitting unacceptably, 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 there, I finally said it right, uh, close to a male shopkeeper. See, this is the, the media outlet saying, no, no, guys, you don't get it twisted here. Come on, they're not silly enough to get angry over a hand showing. Don't be ridiculous. The real reason the religious police were angry, that whore was sitting within five feet of, a, of another man. You're not helping your case. You're not helping your case. So now let's take a look at the video. You know, this goes back to a point. Oftentimes, Bill Maher makes this point. Oftentimes, new atheists make this point. And uh, I think most progressives are on this page, although there's some progressives who are more on a true cultural uh, relativism page, where it's like, you can't judge anybody, bro, the way they do it is just different than how we do it, bro. Nothing's better or worse, bro. You like, you like my, my mocking of them? Okay. Um, but the reality is, there are some aspects of some cultures that are flat out, unquestionably, inferior. And there's nothing bigoted or intolerant or racist in saying that. It's just pointing out the reality. In fact, I would argue the opposite would be intolerant. If you look at that and you say, no, that's cool, they just do things differently, then what you're saying is, I am going to tolerate intolerance. I am going to tolerate people treating women like absolute shit and like sexual objects. Now, I understand a lot of people say, well, you know, they want to dress like that, and they want to do that. You just saw the video, and I just told you the facts of the story. This isn't a case where a woman's saying, yes, I'm wearing a headscarf, and back the fuck off, I want to wear it. That's a different story. We're talking about a situation where she wants to go shopping, she's walking into a shop, and the fucking religious police say, you're not covering your hands, I'm kicking you out of here, go and cover your hands, you're a fucking whore if you don't do that. There's no two sides to this. You're either on the side of freedom and you're on the side of tolerance or you're, you know, in a backwards way justifying and rationalizing vicious repression of women and treating them like they're not human beings. And let's also not forget, you know, this isn't just bad cultural practices. It is bad cultural practices, but it's based on something. It's not like they just made it up one day. Okay, let's all just uh, cover women from head to toe. No, it's based on religion. The same way in which in America, and I'm not saying there's an equivalence here, but there are many cultural practices in America that are based on religion and are fucking stupid, right? You see the same thing in other countries, and it, this is a clear example of that. So in the Quran, uh, it says in 2431 in the Quran, it says, quote, And tell the believing women to lower their gaze and be modest, and to dis and to display of their adornment only that which is apparent, and to draw their veils 
over their bosoms and not to reveal their adornment save to their own husbands or fathers or husbands fathers or children who know naught of women's nakedness and let them not stamp their feet so as to reveal what they hide of their adornment and turn unto Allah O believers in order that ye may succeed so understand that if you buy into the premise that any holy book is from God then all of a sudden it becomes not so unreasonable to read that and interpret from it while well, they're telling women, lower your gaze and be modest and cover yourself. They're saying that. So if you believe that this book is really from God, then do it. I don't, to them, there's no debate. It's Look, it's right there. Just co cover yourself and shut the fuck up. Know your place. Now, understand, are there other interpretations where different schools of thought in Islam read this and say, no, 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 no. That doesn't mean, sure, women should wear the headscarf, but they don't need to cover every single aspect of their body. That's ridiculous, and that's a misinterpretation. There are a lot of people who believe that, and I hope that that interpretation wins out. But the thing that I'm concerned about is, as soon as you buy into the premise that any old desert book has the answers, then the debate already is ridiculous. You have people who are more tolerant and open-minded in the debate saying, hey, let's interpret it this way. But then you have the fundamentalists saying, fuck off, I'm going to interpret it the way I want to, and the way I read it is women should be covered from head to toe and they should know their fucking place. I don't even want that to be a legitimate debate. I want there to be no debate. I want to say, let's get our morality from rationality and logic. Let's get our morality from thinking about what makes sense. Let's not it divert to old books that should be irrelevant by the year 2015. So, I, yes, I get it. There are different interpretations, but that's not, that's the soft bigotry of low expectations. That's, you're playing, you're agreeing to their premise, and the premise itself is the problem. The premise being, we should look in the first place to an old religious book to get answers. You shouldn't. You shouldn't look to the Bible. You shouldn't look to the Bhagavad Gita. You shouldn't look to the Quran. You should use your mind. And it's because of religion. In this case, it's because of Islam perverting what an otherwise normal person would believe that has led to the situation where people get legit outraged at a woman because that goddamn whore showed a fucking fingernail.